There are hundreds of museums across southern New England. They are the keepers of our history, art, science, and culture. Great institutions and smaller hidden gems, each with incredible stories to tell. This is Treasures Inside the Museum. The panorama is painted on thin cotton sheeting. A lot of people say it's canvas, but it's actually not. It's much lighter. This is a portrait of the French Impressionist painter Bert Morisot. It's an emblematic painting at RISD because it represents a woman who is an artist at an institution that was founded by women and that trains women to be artists and designers. This boat is called We Win. She's a sloop, which means she has the mast, as you can see, farther back in the boat. She's strictly a racing boat. It's an exhibition devoted to the Claggett dynasty of clock makers. The mill is operated by water power, which comes from our mill pond. This is the way that they come back from the television station. So they come back as these small rolls, which then need to be prepped into something, like you can see here, that can, that can be put up on the machine for viewing. So you know Herman Melville? So what this is, this is a document from the consulate where actually he deserted. So this is from the whale ship Akushnet that he shipped on in 1841. And you can see his name on here as one of the people who deserted at the Marquesas. But I wanted to, to spotlight our stamp design baskets because they're very unique to southern New England tribes like the Narragansett, the Niantic, the Mohegan. One of our treasures here at the Tomaquag Museum is this very old wampum necklace reflects the history of America. It was the jet age, and you look at, you know, the fins on cars in the fronts and in the backs and brackets. This is a robe that would have been donned and chosen by an actor to wear on a stage. The looms you see here were brought to Hearthside by the Talbot family from Providence. So this is called, it's called a river weir, and it's something that is designed to slow the progress of a fish down as it makes its way up a river to make it easier to catch. New England is an area that has uh, you know, sort of a wealth of great cultural institutions and great museums. Join us on a journey to discover the treasures inside the museums.